Thank you. Kate Hoey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's a pleasure to fo uh, follow the Honourable Member, who was a brilliant uh, Trade Minister and who, of course, resigned on a matter of principle, which, of course, we should all remember here, yeah, our principles. Can I just say that there's an air of uh, almost self-satisfaction and self-congratulation in the House today, as if somehow this is wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? I think the Honourable Member, right Honourable Member, earlier said that this was wonderful freedom. I think, I feel very, very actually sad about today. I think we should not be in this position. And, you know, you could spend, or I could spend, not you, Mr Speaker, I could spend the next five minutes talking about who to blame. But there isn't much point because we're where we are. But the one group of people that we can't blame are the people of this country who, in the referendum, voted to leave, thought they were going to be listened to, told by everyone, including the former Prime Minister, that their vote mattered, their vote was going to be implemented, whatever that decision. And since that day, Mr <coughs> Speaker, many people in this House have, through very <coughs> clever ways, using lawyers, we saw tonight, the, 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 today, the, uh, one of the Honourable Members saying she'd even been help, had a very senior lawyer helping her outside to pr put her motion. These are people who did never wanted us to leave and have done every single bit they could in this House. Now, we are in a situation today where any of and all these, you know, I, I think the public looking in will say, what a nonsense. It's just a lot of waffle. You're just putting loads of different things that are going through. In the end, only the government can make this happen. And the Prime Minister, of course, could still get her withdrawal agreements through if she was to recognise that she, as a Conservative Unionist Prime Minister, could ever, ever have come up with something like the backstop, and that backstop has to be changed, and I understand that absolutely fundamentally. But the one thing today that we cannot see happen is the people of this United Kingdom being told now, you were too stupid to vote the right way, you were racist to vote the right way, you were ignorant to vote the right way, and now we want you to vote again, Mr Speaker, we want you to vote again in a second referendum, because this time we think you might actually have changed your mind. And I am incredibly disappointed that my party, a Labour party, who saw the majority of its constituencies voting to leave, are actually whipping Labour members today to vote for a second referendum I am not giving away to the Honourable Member. That is just outrageous, and I think those Labour supporters and Labour voters who came back to Labour, Mr Speaker, and voted Labour, having, having you know, dallied with UKIP for a while and then believed that Labour actually meant what they said, they are going to see that as a huge betrayal.